What's with the Dodger cap? What's with that? I bought this. I, I was in L.A. I went to a Dodger game with a buddy of mine, this guy named Peter Marietta. Okay. And and I loved it. I had a great time. And uh, it's like a rule. If you are a Mexican, you have to own at least one piece of Dodger <laughs> paraphernalia. So I was like, let me get, let me get my hat. I got my hat. <laughs> I didn't know. Where's that rule book? Where 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 does that rule book uh, exist? We sure. go over it every at our monthly meetings. So it's like a it's a very, it's a very thick binder. <laughs> you said the monthly meetings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're obviously not invited to these meetings. So uh, let's let's just jump into if you don't mind the uh, the NBA world uh, because I know there's so much uh, so many different places I can go with you pop culture. Certainly with that awesome collection of VHS, I'm having like a blockbuster flashback from my high school oh, days yeah. to to your left. Um, wh- <laughs> what, what did you think of it? Did you see the Clipper rebrand? Shay, did you see the Clipper rebrand? I did. What do you when think I of saw, it? So I, what do you think? I, when I saw it two seconds in, I was like, I hate this. <laughs> and, then after, and, then, and then after that, I started to be like, I kind of like this. I think I really like it. Maybe I love it. I kind of love it now. It looks great. <laughs> really? What? Yeah. Okay. Can you walk me through your, uh, I guess your metamorphosis? On this front? So when I, yeah, when you first look at it, you're just a little confused. What is this? What is this? Yes. What am I looking at? It looks like a mess. And then you look at it a little longer and you realize, oh, it's a ship and there's a sea around it. And also we've got the little nautical northeast, southwest thing going on. Yes. And there's a bas- there's a there's a there's the undertone of a basketball on the bottom of the ship. Yes. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on in there. And I'm like, I like like the movie National Treasure. Like I want to peel back some layers and find some stuff and like there's probably a reference to Benjamin Franklin in there somewhere, and I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. I swear to you, I will. Does that make uh, is Balmer Nick Cage then in that front? Yes. Like, is that, is yes. that where we're going on that? Yeah, he is Nick Cage. Okay. With all of the screaming and yelling, and like, it fits perfect. It does fit. Yeah, I, I, I mean, <laughs> it just, I, 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 I don't know. It just, I, how many people do you think know a Clipper is an actual boat? I don't, I don't you know think I mean? a lot. You know what I mean? The only reason I know is because I watch a show called Ink Master. And they sometimes have to tattoo clipper ships. That's oh, the only reason I know. How about that? Wow. Oh, all right. <laughs> Shea Serrano here on the Rich Eisen Show. What is the story in the NBA right now, in your estimation? What is it? The story, I mean, after, after what, last night, I was sort of thinking the, the Warriors haven't beat, beaten the Nuggets in two years. Something crazy like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that. That is standing out to me. I'm, of course, in San Antonio. Wimby is, is the story here. He's just been incredible to watch this season. Uh, the, the the Celtics look like maybe this is the year they make the leap. Who knows? Mm-hmm. The Timberwolves are incredible. Um, I went and saw Anthony Edwards in person. He's my favorite non-spur player to watch. So when they came to San Antonio, I went to go see to see him. Uh, and the the emergence of the Thunder is like, well, they're they're looking pretty scary. Those are my those are the storylines I'm the most excited about right now. What do you think of the Bucks uh, coming off of the break? Seemingly. Um... <laughs> Putting a pedal to the metal so far. What do you think about that? I, I I would like for there to be another really good team in the East, and if it's going to be somebody to do it, let's have the Bucks do it. Let's have, let's see what it looks like when Dame and Giannis are deep in the playoffs. This is the first year we talked about this on on the show. Jason and I talked about this, where it felt like this was the first year that if Dame doesn't make it at minimum to the conference finals, mm-hmm. then it's going to feel like like he underperformed or like his team underperformed. Every year before this, he's been the underdog beginning in his first year when they played the Rockets in the playoffs, if I'm not mistaken. And then he pushed them into the first, into the second round for like the first time in 14 years or whatever. But he's always been on the, on that side of the seesaw. And now he's over here where the expectations are a little higher. I'm very excited to see what he does. I assume he's going to do great because that's just, that's what he does when it's time. But we'll see. Shea Serrano here on the Rich Eisen Show. Six trophies with Jason Concepcion and Shea Serrano available wherever you get your podcasts. New shows released every single Wednesday right here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. And so Primo, which is available on Freebie, which is available right here on the Roku platform, is based on your, is it semi-autobiographical, based on your yeah, on your yeah. life, Shea? Yeah, it's a family sitcom, a single-camera family sitcom based on, Loosely based on my life growing up. In the show, you have the a character who he finds out. It's the beginning of his senior year. He finds out he might have the chance to go to college. He'll be the first one in his family to do that. And he lives with his mom. And 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 then she's very five very close brothers. So he has these five uncles who sort of stand in as as like a collective surrogate father. Mm-hmm. And they all have they all have a different opinion on what he should do and how he should do it. And that's sort of 
what the show is. We we made it with Mike Schur, who is I think the greatest comedy showrunner of the of this century. He did The Office, Parks and Rec, The Good Place, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Like these are that's the guy who we got to work on it with, and it turned out. Really, I'm very proud of it. I'm really, really, really very happy of how it turned out. He might not be happy with the choice of the Dodger hat, though, Mike Shore. <laughs> Shay, you know. We have a we have an antagonistic relationship with regard to sports. Mm. For Christmas, for example, the writers' room, we pulled our money together and we bought him um, an autographed Derek Jeter baseball. Oh, oh. because he's a big yes. you know, he's the Red Sox guy. That is not. Uh, so, what do you do with it? He sold it. He gave, he did it like a charity auction, and they gave the they gave the money away. <laughs> he wouldn't even accept the baseball. He wouldn't even accept a spite gift. And then the worst thing is the show premiered. I flew out to L.A. We had a, like a little premiere yeah. uh, party for it, and he was like, "Hey, I got you a gift." And and I'm a Spurs guy. I assume he's going to give me something like the Lakers, which we do not like the Lakers, or the Mavericks, or the Rockets, or whoever. Yeah. And he handed me a gift, and I opened it, and it was. It was an autographed basketball card of Manu Ginobili and Tony Parker. Oh, a very thoughtful, wow. sweet gift. And it just made me feel so much worse. Yes. For giving him a gag gift. Yes. He's like, a, he, he was like, a, he's like an evil super villain in that he just knew exactly what to do to make me feel as bad as possible. Yeah, now don't you wish you got him a big poppy <laughs> something or other? But, something, anything. Oh, I feel like a jerk. You got the Jeter stuff, but it doesn't matter. He got the last laugh anyway. On the uh-huh. Yankees, I'm sure. And his Celtics are, I've won eight in a row. He's probably feeling good. So Yeah, he's that. feeling great, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, so the, look, walk me through your um, VHS collection over your left shoulder. What, 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 what do oh. we have right here, sir? I mean. We have, so, so I started, I bought a couple of VHS tapes in 2017. I actually went back to find out when the first time I did it was. Yeah. And I was at a thrift store and they still sell them at thrift stores. Now you get like three for a dollar or something. And I was at the thrift store. I saw them. I grabbed a couple just to put on a bookshelf in my office. And then I just started getting, every time I would go to the thrift store or to like the flea market or whatever, I just started grabbing more and more and more. And then I realized one day that I had like seven or 800 of them. Damn. Like, well, what am I, what am I supposed to do with all of Great these? Great question. Uh, uh, so, so I had my dad, uh, I asked him, he's like very good at building stuff. And I said, dad, I need a, I need like a blockbuster kind of wall <laughs> to put up in my office. <laughs> And then he just showed up with like a drill and some tape and a bucket and and made a made a wall for me. So we just have on here this this wall holds like 440 tapes, so it's my 440 favorite tapes that are up here. Okay. It, and that's what it is. Are it's they, like a silly thing. Are it's they, a very silly thing. Are they uh cordoned off by section like a real blockbuster? Is there a comedy? Is there a drama? Is there a Shannon Tweed section? Like what do <laughs> you got uh, right there, Shay? <laughs> I'm just what? I, I did it all. I did it all alphabetical. That's okay. how I did it. All yeah. right. So so any like any movie that came out b- b- before 2005, if you like it, if you thought it was fun to watch, then I probably have it in here somewhere. What are you proudest of? Which one on the wall? Pull it. Oh my! See it. Oh my God! What do you I'm got? gonna pull it. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab it. There you go. There he goes. Jay Serrano is moving back. It looks like he's in the A section or the B. <laughs> I'm in the B. I'm in the B section. Okay. That's very exactly good. Right. Okay. Very okay. good. Here we go. This is my maybe my favorite action movie of all time, or my favorite one of my favorite movies. Not as specifically an action movie, but okay. it's my favorite action movie star. It's an original copy of Bloodsport. Blood wow, Bloodsport on VHS. Come on, come on. It took me so long to find this, years to find it, because I don't want to go on the internet. You could buy them on the on the eBay or whatever. Yes, five hundred tapes for five hundred bucks or whatever. But I like to find them in the wild, and so it, it takes you a long time to find it. But when you get it. Oh, it feels so good. What a rush. Blood for, sport. For do you find yourself for not rewinding the tapes? Shay. I do, yes. Yes. Well, you know what? I'm, because but you're kind. In arrears. My my account is in arrears. You're, well, by, by the way, I once I think I had a I, I think I kept Alien Two well off of my late fee. I, I think I, I, I might have racked up like forty dollars of late fees. You got Alien Two? Is it my copy from the Staten Island Blockbuster? Wow. Do you got bro, it? Oh, don't play with me, bro. Yes. 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 That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't I don't kept that me. underneath over, the driver's seat of my Honda Accord <laughs> my entire senior year of high school, I think. But what an incre- that's a if you're gonna keep a tape, that's the tape to keep. 
Aliens, a perfect movie. A perfect <laughs> movie. Is. Do you have any requests to see if we should do this every now and then? Uh, What's on Chase Serrano's really, wall? Really funny. What do you got? got what do you got? One. What do you got? got no. I say you got Rocky. You got to have Rocky in there, oh, right? Come on, Rocky. Come on. Mike. It's I mean, easy. Come on. I, I have, all, I got I have all of the Rockies. Oh, Let's yeah. Where's the... Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.